What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about a lot of movie news, uh, more specifically the Batman Wonder Woman uh, and also we're going to talk about a rumor surrounding Black Widow and Mulan. Uh, but before I get into all of those subjects, uh, I just hope that all of you guys are keeping safe during this pandemic. Uh, I don't know where in the world you are, but uh, here in New York, things are getting pretty ugly as far as like uh, no one is going out, you know, nobody's working right now unless you work uh, in the hospitals or a supermarket. Uh, I've never seen anything like this. Uh, but obviously, because nothing, nothing is open, uh, we have a huge problem with movie theaters right now and that's why a ton of films have been delayed, uh, productions have been shut down uh, and uh, well today we're going to talk about Batman. So uh, not long ago I did make a stream where I addressed this, however the delayed uh, when I did that stream was only supposed to, to be for two weeks so they wanted to stop the Batman production for only two weeks but now uh, it's actually it seems like they don't even have an idea when they will be coming back which is kind of like expected because to be honest none of us really know when life is going to go back to normal when the streets are going to open again people are going to be able to uh, go to their works you know what's going to happen so obviously it's kind of the same and I think Hollywood really needs to reinvent themselves now and figure it out a way because you know I think that this pandemic is lasting longer than what everyone expected uh, but uh, a while ago not a while ago, I think this week or last week, China reopened their cinemas, right? And that's kind of a little bit of a hope. But at the same time, uh, there's no other news over here saying that they, they closed it again. So, ooh, I don't know, does that mean that all these movies for the, the whole year are going to go on streaming? What's going to happen? You know, obviously, uh, I don't believe that the city will be closed for that long or anywhere else. However, uh, certain places like movie theaters, I'm not sure if people are going to go watch films, you know. So first, let's talk about um, uh, the Batman. So we have the Batman as well as Matrix. Uh, these films are still under production, so they're still filming, right? I've been covering a lot of news uh, surrounding Batman, you know, uh, the leaked photos and all of that, and now they're not even able to continue production. And the problem with with that is that a lot of actors uh, you know they have contract and you know if it was only supposed to be like a month or two weeks or something like that delay I think they can work around it but it looks like the delay will be longer than that and if that is the case it, it might be a problem because all these actors they have other jobs booked you know with other companies so does that mean that everything else will be delayed as well so that is definitely a problem for Warner Bros uh, you know depending I don't know what's the deal with these actors uh, or their contract but right over here we have uh, you know huge news here on screen rant saying it's possible 2021 movies like Matrix 4 and the Batman I push back depending on how long their beer bug production hiatus last and that is so true I can I kind of I mean it, it, like I said if it's only a two-week delay or a month delay, I think they could work around it, but if it goes longer than that, it's going to be a problem. Let's just read a little bit and see what's happening here. It's impossible 2021 blockbusters like Matrix 4, the Batman are delayed from their original releases due to the beer bug. The two projects were among the many in the midst of principal photography when the beer bug pandemic forced Hollywood to essentially halt all operations. Initially, we reported production on the Batman would be delayed two weeks, but based on the latest comments from Matt Reeves it sounds like the hiatus will uh, go on longer uh, for a longer period of time obviously this is a health crisis and there are things that are bigger than entertainment uh, but also this pandemic shows how important entertainment is because now thank goodness for movies and TV series and Netflix because uh, otherwise we, this was just you know uh, I, I was just thinking back 
when people had this kind of pandemics uh, years ago where they didn't have this the, the internet or they couldn't even watch films at home now at least you can watch these things at home uh, so I'm, I'm grateful for that especially for me because I love films but yes Hollywood has it's going over an apocalypse as well you would think that you know the almighty people the billionaires wouldn't be affected by this but every single person is affected by this because the only reason these companies have the money that they have is because us uh, have the money to go uh, and support the films but now uh, what's gonna happen you know with cinema in general uh, and uh, that's the tweet by Matt Reeves over here so he responded to a fan so the fan just asked uh, curious if shooting Batman has experienced any delays uh, I hope the cast the cast is all uh, the crew is safe and sound and he responded yes we have shut down till it is safe for all of us to resume so that means there is no really date they only said two weeks uh, which is weird but th the truth is that they don't really know when they're going to return. Everyone safe for the moment. Thank you for asking and stay safe too. And then we go to Wonder Woman. So Wonder Woman actually, uh, I think it's a movie that everyone wants to see it in the theaters. I would love to see it in the theaters. You know, I think the experience in the theater is completely different. However, Warner Bros. is the first one that actually gave us a new date because all the other films such as Mulan and... Um, uh, Black Widow, they don't even have a release date. The same thing with Quiet Place, you know. Uh, Fast and Furious, they already changed it all the way to the next following year. Uh, so, but Warner Bros. actually changed the date for August 14th, which is kind of, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, we don't know how long the pandemic will last and uh, it's not only the pandemic itself, but when will these environments uh, will be open and will this affect the box office, you know, even if they open the, the theaters earlier, you know, are people going to risk themselves to go to the movies? I certainly want to see Wonder Woman in the, in the theaters, but only if it is safe. Uh, but Warner Bros. postponing Diana's return to the big screen due to the beer box. So, but they already put a date out there, August 14th. So it was supposed to come out on June 5th, but they changed it to August 14th. They delayed a month. Uh, but like I said, this movie was supposed to be kind of like in the billion dollar house. Uh, it's a lot of money to lose, uh, but I mean, I think they really want to push this for a theater experience. So it's very different to bring this to the streaming service because, you know, so obviously Warner Bros. does not want to do that. Uh, and what they're saying here, they already put a date and they set the date, you know, uh, and I don't know if this has anything to do with China because China did open their theaters, but now they close it again. Uh, so it's still not safe it's taken a while uh, and uh, I don't know you know and we all know that China had a, uh, a worse um, quarantine than all of us here you know I know that people are not really not allowed to go out their door the rumor is that Black Widow along with Mulan have a possibility of going on streaming now I find this, I think they might be thinking about it because like I said, Disney Plus is pretty new and Disney Plus do not have a lot of, I don't think they have a lot of original content over there. It's just mostly the movies that everyone already saw, you know. What do they have there that is original versus uh, Netflix, There's you know, they're always dropping new things. So perhaps they want to grow Disney Plus and putting this on Disney Plus would probably get more people to sign for Disney Plus but at the same time they would be losing so much money uh, and the reason why this rumor started is because you know David Harbour which is on the film himself you know he said uh, he responded to a I think he was on a live Instagram thing and then he responded to a fan saying uh, this is what he said 
wouldn't it be fun if we all could just stream it but just but that's above my pay grade I mean obviously this is just he wishful thinking you know uh, actors do not have any say on what happened to the film it doesn't belong to them they're just acting on it they get paid and that's about it the problem is the situation that is happening right now no one knew was gonna happen and definitely it's going to force the studios to you know adapt do something about it they could try to do the streaming thing but what I uh, they would be losing a lot of money in my opinion because think think with me you know like if they put uh, Black Widow on Disney Plus perhaps it would attract more uh, subscribers but at the same time you know everyone is watching a movie just for the price of the subscription you know they're still not making that this is kind of like another movie that could be in a billion dollar house uh, you know the same with Mulan so I don't know if they're willing to to lose that much money. Also, uh, what they could do, they could just add it on a platform where you actually buy the movie, but then it would be a little bit expensive, like, I don't know, 30 bucks or something, because uh, think about it. If you have a family of four, five people, right, and you go to the movies, each person needs a ticket, and that's way more money than if you buy the movie for 30 bucks, you know, so I believe that they might do something like that as well could happen uh, but I don't know it's just weird that they don't have a specific date yet but guys this is something that I believe uh, right now we just have to sit and watch and see what's going to happen but this is definitely changing the movie theaters now what's going to happen because you have to think about that all these movie theaters that are now closed you know they still have bills to pay and now that no one is going to the theaters because they're closed how will they pay those bills uh, you know I'm not really sure what's going to happen going forward uh, it is just uh, it's a very weird time but anyways those are the news we have Wonder Woman coming to August 14th we have the Batman production delayed indefinitely which is kind of like whew, you never want to hear that word we also have Mulan and Black Widow with no date to release yet uh, and it's being rumored, rumored to just go directly to the streaming service which would be great to watch a, a, a big film like that on streaming but would pay, people pay for it now that everyone is trying to save bucks you know in this situation I don't know it's kind of weird situation um, but yes drop your comments down below let me know what do you think about all this news I uh, hope that everything is going fine if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe for more and see you next time